Hello YouTube. Uh, the Caucasus occupies a prominent place in the history of human civilization. Those gray-haired, as we call them, Caucasian mountains were silent witnesses of the bright and distinctive cultures of many ancient peoples. Many tribes have passed along the ancient roads of the present Caucasus, leaving behind large and small surviving and destroyed monuments of history and culture. By the way, the first settlement of the Caucasus occurred about 500 to 200,000 years ago, and uh, between 150 to 80,000 years ago, uh, there was widespread settlement in the Caucasus in that era. Well, 5,000 years ago, the era of early metal began in the Northwestern Caucasus. Now, the names of the tribes who lived there at that time, they're unknown, conventional in archaeology. They are called by the shape of the burial structure. So in the mountainous regions of the northwestern Caucasus and along the Black Sea coast, since the middle of the third millennium BC, a dolmen culture was developed, which got, got its name from the peculiar funerary monuments in the form of ground-based crypts built of huge stone slabs known in scientific literature as dolmens. If that was their purpose, well, the dolmen culture existed until the last quarter of the second millennium BC. And I'll tell you more about them a little bit later. Gelenjik is a resort town in the Krasnodar Krai or region or territory of Russia, located in the Gelenjik Bay of the Black Sea. The underwater world of the Black Sea attracts divers from all over the country and actually other countries too, to Gelenjik. And those who dream of joining the mystery of scuba diving, marine flora and fauna, unusual sensations of weightlessness, and the mysteries of sunken artifacts, every diver has his or her own reason to go deep. Even the president of the Russian Federation, Gelenjik is one of the most ancient settlements on the Black Sea coast. This fertile land has attracted people since ancient times. Traces of settlements and sites have been found in that area, which according to scientists are more than one to two hundred thousand years old. I think more than that. In antiquity, the Gelenjik Bay was the, source, was the site of minor Greek outpost mentioned as Torikos in ancient writings. It is unknown to Hellenistic sources, but reappears in Roman ones under the name of Pagraea in 64 BC. The colony was wiped out by the invading Huns, which were succeeded by other conquerors soon after. During the late Middle Ages, the Genoa Republic, that's from Italy, had a notable influence on the region. During this period, the town was named Maura Lacco and was considered one of the most important Genoa colonies in the Black Sea. It was a great piece of real estate and remains so. Neat, beautiful town. Well, before Russia secured the coast by the Treaty of Andrianople in 1829, after its war with Turkey, a brisk slave trade has been carried on between the mountain dwellers and the Ottoman Empire. Since the beautiful Circassian females were usually traded for gold and other commodities before being taken to Turkish harems, the marketplace became known as Gelenjik, from Gelenjik, literally little bride in the Turkish language. Then came the Circassian uprisings against the invading Russian imperial forces and bloody conflicts ensued in the land. The Circassians lost their land and freedom, but they fought back very hard. I met some of their descendants many years ago in the Middle East. During the Soviet period, Gelenjik was developed as a resort town. The environs of Gelenjik are noted for its chain of waterfalls, an outcrop of dolmens, two extremely ancient pine and Jupiter groves, and the strange sail rock, located 17 kilometers from the town's central area. 
it's a cool sight you, you will see it on one of the photographs it has a hole in it too um, historians and scientists never cease to be surprised by the secrets that the Black Sea holds even after decades have passed since the beginning of its scientific study well in 2013 after a powerful storm on one of the beaches of Gelenjik people found a stone sculpture of a mermaid thrown out by the surf according to experts I guess scientists it is at least 2.5 thousand years old so recently researchers stunned the public with another sensation a whole ancient city was discovered in the sea some three or four kilometers from the black sea resort recently is somewhat relative but it wasn't that long ago the area occupied by the underwater structure was being clarified at the time of the discovery but after examining even a small part of the buildings scientists came to the conclusion that nature could not create such a thing huge boulders and grottos with signs of human processing were found just beyond the water area of Gelenjing Bay according to Valery Yegorov a specialist of the local branch of the Russian Geographical Society and a diver entrances to horizontal caves have a clear location on the cardinal directions there are hollows for making fires in the stone walls and there are cavities that were probably used to store various things one of the round stones objects resembled a human heart well um, all I know is that only two of the discoveries have been studied and again according to very scant uh, uh, reports there are grottos at the depth of 14 to 15 meters they most likely play the role of the border posts added Yegorov the presence of incomprehensible boulders at the bottom of the sea was surmised in fact back in the 1980s but they began to study them in detail only now according to one hypothesis of geologists from St. Petersburg all these buildings so to say appeared on the site of modern, modern Gelenjik long before the Greek city of Torikos was founded there in the 6th century BC in addition to the grottos at the bottom of the sea they have found fossils that look like human organs according to Valery Yegorov and opposite one of the fire pits is a flat stone table divers did not have time to study this artifact back then in 2015 the experts hope to do a lot of work first of all to carry out measurements of the discovered structures it was planned that in 2016 according to the Gelenjik branch of the Russian Geographical Society that's a ubiquitous entity you gotta watch my videos these guys are everywhere Matua too anyway specialists in archaeology and geology would arrive in the area of the amazing find during the 2015 discovery the unstable weather did not allow them to do a scrupulous study of the underwater city we have information about the presence of stone columns and anchors in the Gelenjik Bay Alexander Shishlov, head of the archaeology department of the Novorossiysk Historical Museum Reserve revealed to the Russian media in 2015 but perhaps all these details ended up at the bottom along with the sunken ships in order to assert the presence of the ruins of the city in the sea it is necessary to conduct a thorough analysis of the visually inspected boulders for thousands of years the Black Sea has really been um, winning new areas from the land but before the foundation of Torikos there were no large settlements on that coast well now in 2022 when I'm doing this video I can tell you that I have not found any more information about the ancient underwater city from Russia it's like it vanished again we'll talk about it what about the statue of the goddess of the ancient Scythians which washed up on the shore of the Black Sea the stone statue which according to experts was at least two and a half thousand years old 
was discovered by residents of Gelenjik after a severe storm. The Undin, or well, the right pronunciation is the Undin, carved from a block, was thrown right under the sea beach by the waves. According to the locals, the sea has not thrown them such surprises before. Undin is a water spirit of the female sex, resembling in character the sylphs or spirits of the air, and corresponding in some measure to the Nayats of the classical mythology. According to Paracelsus, when an Undine married a mortal and bore a child, she received a soul. I was walking along the embankment and saw the unusual shaped stone half a meter from the shore. Local historian Vladimir Kasalapov told the Russian media in 2013, I went down the steps um, to the shingle, came up and did not believe my eyes at first. The object that interests me turned out to be a statue of mermaid carved from the rock. The people who ran to the beach immediately began to shoot the curiosity to make films of on the mob mobile phones. When it was measured, it turned out that the width of the stone girl with a tail is almost two and a half. The height is more than one and a half meters. The weight of the um, Andine, according to preliminary estimates, is several tons. The block depicts the Scythian mother of goddess, described only by Herodotus, added Kasalapov. According to legend, in the lower reaches of the modern Dnieper river, there grew a grove sacred to the Scythians. It was called Jailia or Gileia. It was inhabited by a demon in the form of a mermaid with a snake's tail. This creature, according to legend, was the ancestor of the Scythian tribes. They settled in the Caucasus in the 8th to 7th century BC, while Herodotus described the way of life <coughs> of the peoples who lived much later. But regardless of the epoch, the Scythians depicted their goddess in the same way. According to, Pasala, to Kasalapov, the two uh, and a half thousand years, for two and a half thousand years, the level of the Black Sea has risen by several meters. The grove was flooded as well as stones with statues of the mermaid goddess. And the other day, one of the boulders was washed ashore by a powerful storm. Local historians had offered to move the artifacts to the Gelenjik Museum. Well, if the ancient Scythian Undine would be left lying on the beach, it would simply be crushed into the pebbles by bulldozers that would level the beach by the beginning of the holiday season. Information about the find has already been transferred to Moscow. That's what the scientists said at that time. A special expedition is due to arrive from the capital soon. If this is a real work of the ancients, that there is simply no price for it. It will be a sensation not only for the Krasnodar territory, but for the whole of Russia. Nikolai Sudaryov, a researcher at the Institute of Archaeology at the Russian Academy of Sciences, shared his opinion with the Komsomolska Pravda newspaper. Sculptures dating back to the time of the Scythians' existence in our country can be counted on the fingers, but the authenticity of the statue of the mermaid still needs to be checked. According to the photos, I cannot say with absolute certainty that the block with the image of the deity is not homemade. Until recently, mermaids depicted in stone were found alone, that is, without other creatures. The Gelenjik Pandin holds an owl in the right hand and strokes a deer with the left. And this creature, as a rule, are found only in Greek mythology. Well, no further information about the ancient mermaid statue <coughs> was found under two th after 2013. I wonder why. The answer could be the protection of the discoveries of the so-called outlaw from the so-called outlaw archaeologists in the former Soviet republics. Well, basically from looters who rob archaeological sites, sell the artifacts, and sometimes kill archaeologists. But the silence is too loud here. Why hide this serpentine mer uh, mermaid or undine? 
Look, <clears throat> this brings me to the very interesting fact that the city of Anapa on the same coast of the Black Sea is only 70 kilometers, 70 from Gelenjik. It's not that far. The fact that the artisans of coastal cities produce curious artifacts can, can be judged by the excavations of the ancient Gorgipia, an open-air museum in Anapa. Among the frequently found artifacts on the seabed are amphora of various sizes and purposes. Even Russian President Vladimir Putin raised one of them from the depths of the sea. That was in 2011, as I recall. Perhaps there is more at the bottom of the Black Sea that we do not know about, and the Russian president is aware of. Amphora and the stage stands aside and the discoveries and finds based on their importance get classified. That I have no knowledge of. Look, what did the ancient Greek, Turkish, Bulgarian and other ships carry in their holds? Gold and silver bars and coins for financial purposes, ivory, expensive porcelain dishes, amphora with wine, grain and oils, you know, all those goods, just, we cannot count them. Uh, there were real treasures also in the holds of pirate ships. Um, it is clear that sunken vessels with rich contents serve as a bait for, for many people. Artifacts are being hunted. And it happened that divers find them completely by accident. But I am thinking of more ancient times than the Greek colonies and of the information that presidents know about but we do not. Perhaps there is an ancient underwater city extended all the way to Anapa from Gelenjik and maybe something that the powers that be do not want us to see um, and maybe that strange mermaid um, represented the people who still live down below and we don't know about and I've talked to you about underwater aliens or cryptids more than once or humanoids or perhaps Vladimir Putin just wanted to have a diving vacation, like in the Lake Baikal a few years before Anapa and after my underwater aliens of Lake Baikal research was published in a number of countries. And they had quite a lot of it in Russian too, uh, they translated my articles and later my book Russia's USO Secrets, I co-wrote it with Phil Mantle. Anyway, for those who love diving and history, look, diving in Gelenjik is a, it's like a historical mystery, military artifacts, this, uh, this is what you can find there. And that's what the certified divers come to the area for. During the Second World War, by the way, ships and airplanes, Soviet and the Nazi enemies, uh, turned out to be on the Black Sea bottom near Gelenjik. The cargo ship Sako and Vanzetti, which was blown up uh, on a bottom line mine, and the downed American Douglas A 20 Boston bomber are also among them. The airplane rests at the depth of 35 meters. Scientists discovered it at the bottom of the sea in the 1980s, and divers carefully examined the bomber from the outside and as far as possible from the inside. They also found out in their archives that the aircraft was in the service with Soviet aviation and was shot down in 1943 during the air battles for Novorossiysk. Now the dolmens. Dolmens are four giant slabs placed on the end covered from above with an even more powerful stone slab lid. There is a rounded hole in one of the wall plates which a person can barely squeeze through. All this resembles a stone house, which also stands on an elevation and is fenced with a tiled fence. It's like mythical giants built houses for dwarves. By the way, one of the accounts of the origin of the dolmens among the local people was a class exactly this. The giants built houses for the dwarf tribe. What kind of advanced civilization has left us these monuments? How technically did ancient people erect multi-ton structures? You know, some Caucasus territorial authorities foolishly 
took one dolmen apart using heavy machinery and could not put it together properly when they tried. So what ritual and cult took place in this mountain gorge? Structures made of stone slabs appeared in the Caucasus in the Bronze Age about 5,000 years ago. About 3,000 years such monuments became known in the Krasnodar territory and Adigeya. How did dolmens appear in the valley of the Pshadi river in Gelenjik? Scientists still have not solved the riddle. There are many hypotheses, burials, tables for sacrifices, shelters, Today, dolmens are attributed magical properties. Thousands of pilgrims come to the south of Russia to those places of power, as they call it. The Pshadi dolmens are located on the territory of a, of a farm, local farm. The curators of antiquities are sure that the structures work wonders and will tell a dozen incredible stories. They can convince even skeptics of how, after going to the dolmens, people heal find love and become more successful. It is believed among locals that one should come here with the innermost desire and ask the ancient ancestors for their fulfillment. Well, the appearance of mysterious structures has long been shrouded in legends. The Adigib people called Domans Ispun, which means dwarf's house. They believe that such dwellings appeared when the mountains were inhabited by dwarves and giants. The first ones were so weak that they did not have enough strength to build their own housing, and the giants easily tossed stones while playing them. The dwarves asked the giants to assemble stone houses for them, so there were structures with round holes where dwarves rode in on hares. Um, I gotta tell you that there, there is also a legend about the strange underwater people, humanoids, uh, that built uh, dolmens, uh, and also it's an ancient legend. Well, among the Celts, dolmens mean, meant stone tables. The Greeks and Scythians buried people in them, allegedly. Scientists in our time have not come to a consensus. Most of them are inclined to believe that the tombs of tribal leaders look like this among ancient people. Those dolmens also belong to the category of such ancient objects that are scattered around the world. In fact, various objects located in the very different parts of our planet surprise a number of researchers. Um, for example, pyramids, dolmens, as we know, uh, crop circles, and much more. Such researchers believe that if something was built all over the world in the past, using the same technology and appearance, then this indicates either a single civilization or that all the ancient people were helped by one person or entity. Since all, all people have different faiths, opportunities, natural conditions, and even the level of development, therefore it is difficult to explain the same structure all over our planet. But now the dolmens themselves, which no matter how surprising, are no less mysterious than the pyramids. Obviously, no one knows when and who built them, but they are almost everywhere, I understand, in America, Asia, Russia, and parts of Europe. Moreover, the age of such structures is no less amazing. They were mostly built around four to 6,000 years ago, but some people estimated to be 20 to 30,000 years ago. However, the age of structure is determined by a comparative method, so you should not believe one or the other figure. And now, it is worth asking the most important question, the answer to, to which has not yet been found. Why were such structures built all over the earth? I don't know. I think anyone who is interested in history and archaeology understands that scientists reduce everything to one thing. Either the purpose is religious or for burials. This is the easiest way, and they believe in it. Um, uh, the same with dolmens or pyramids. That's how out of all the thousands of dolmens during the excavations, not a single time have the remains of any creature have been found, which I think dismisses the hypothesis regarding the purpose of the dolmens to be for burials. In general, there are a lot of hypotheses on the purpose of dolmens, but 
here are two since I think they're more explicable and plausible at least to some people the first one is that it was an energy source everything is quite simple it is believed that stones had a completely different value for ancient civilizations and we do not understand this that is they could receive energy in some way by the way uh, this hypothesis is quite suitable for pyramids around the world the next hypothesis of the purpose for the dolmens is the source of the signal everything is the same as with the pyramids quite simple structures around the world could be built for some global purpose or signals communication on our planet or signals into space quite a mundane explanation look as you know a dolmen well as some researchers know a dolmen was found in the Krasnodar territory it was sealed with a stone stopper so when the plug was pulled out there was a strong low frequency hum for about 20 minutes nowadays most likely the dolmens are ordinary stones without any purpose and they could just stop working like the pyramids although we just don't know in any case i believe that the dolmens were created by an unknown civilization of the distant past and the essence of these structures was something unified and global but what it is is still a mystery as for the ritual purpose there was no evidence for the hypothesis except for various bowls and similar objects in the dolmens and if some rituals were performed there then i think it was conducted by ancient people but after the very first creators of mysterious structures vanished some interesting ideas i heard about the dolmens include dolmens are ancient refrigerators moreover moreover they served as refrigerators in the summer and in winter on the contrary they served as a cellar they did not allow food meat or root vegetables to freeze so they helped the people of the tribe to store food in order to survive in addition the dolmen is a reliable protection of food from predators birds and other animals um, the dolmens are the first kindergartens that's another hypothesis the tribe let's say went hunting or with somebody to fight you know and there were kids around after all <clears throat> there were probably much more predators uh, more powerful than the current ones even among the animals therefore the dolmens um, uh, were made to hide children anyway at the expense of dating all modern methods are completely nonsense that's what i heard dolmens are definitely older older than three to four thousand years much older anyone has seen the dolmens who has seen them will understand that no one but a child will fit in or a dwarf and you can only close it with a cork from the outside well and if you think about it the Gelenjik dolmens they're not so huge and there's plenty of building material nearby so this hypothesis gives kudos to our ancestors their ingenuity and savvy if it's true in the valley of the Pshadi river there are four dolmens each of which has its own name Han, Maya, Tenderness and Tor Dolmen Han is responsible for physical and spiritual health well-being of loved ones it is easy to recognize it by the destroyed lower part maya protects from the unrequited love helps to meet the other half and protects fidelity in marriage the tenderness dolmen is considered feminine it helps in marriage and motherhood um, and um, women ask it for help for children tor brings good luck in business and helps you find your way in life also the dolmens on the uh, river Janne. the valley of the mountain river is famous throughout uh, Caucasus for its unique archaeological monuments the dolmens but the dolmens of the Pshadi river in Gelenjik are best viewed in the summer even in hot weather at the resort here in the shade of the trees you will be comfortable in the spring and autumn it makes sense to go in dry weather um, because during the rain a walk through the forest will be unpleasant well the russian tourists they do not come here in the cold season but the pilgrims who firmly believe in the magical properties of the dolmens come here even in the winter um, 
The dolmens are open for viewing, but that statue of the mermaid and the underwater city of the ancients, what happened to them? There is no indication of an ancient underwater city on the diving map from Gelenjik. But since Vladimir Putin has an interest in the area, I am sure that the sites, at least the classified ones, are well protected. But it's still, it's still so interesting. All news basically vanished about the discovery. If you can support my research, please kindly do so. You will find the links in the description to this video. I thank you for your attention to my work. Please subscribe to my channel. Please tell others. And um, I hope to bring you more stories soon. Thank you.